This video is a demonstration of a tool called Coagula. With Coagula, we're going to generate a message and then hide that message in a WAV file or an audio file. This is a demonstration of steganography. So we're hiding something in plain sight and you don't know there's something hidden unless you know where to look or how to look for it. I'll put the link to Coagula in another tool that we're going to use called Sonic Visualizer, this tool right here. Both of these tools will be used in the demonstration. The links will be beneath this video. The first tool we're going to use is Coagula. Coagula is a tool where we can draw a message and then save or convert this into a audio file and then save the audio file. So I'm going to go ahead and write my message here. I just opened up Coagula. I'll put, I'll just draw a message here. And you basically paint a message. And then what Coagula does is it makes a sound file or audio file out of this message. So I'm just going to run to uh, the hills. That's an Iron, Iron Maiden song. Run to the hills. This will be the his secret message, and you would put whatever message you want to put, obviously. Run to the hills. Really old Baden song. Once I've done that, I've drawn the message. I need to click on one of these gear icons up here, which will render the image to sound as it shows. So I click on that. doesn't quite sound like Run to the Hills by Maiden, but it sounds kind of cool. So if I click on play, we can hear that again. So that's what the WAV file is going to sound like. Now that I've written this and rendered it to, by clicking on one of these gear icons, rendered it to sound, I'm going to save this. Click on File, Save Sound as... I'm going to call this Iron Maiden. It's really not Iron Maiden, obviously. We'll save that. Now I'm going to close Coagula. Now let's validate that this WAV file we created actually has sound in it. So it sounds like Run to the Hills. But the idea is you can create a WAV file and hide a secret message in that file. So somebody would, would have to know where to look and that there's a secret message in that file to extract it. The tool we're going to use to extract the secret message or to, to visualize the secret message is Sonic Visualizer. So let's open this. With Sonic Visualizer, we're going to open the WAV file. Go to File, Open, Let's browse to ironmaiden.wav, click on that, click on open. And it just opens it normally here. I'm scrolling with my mouse uh, ball up so you can expand this. If we click on play, it's gonna sound like normal. So what we have to do to, to reveal the hidden message is to look at the spectrograph. So go up here to layer, and then we're gonna select Add spectrograph, we'll do both channels because we have stereo, channel one and two. Click on that. And now that you see the spectrograph, you can see the hidden message right here, run to the hills. So this is a way to create a message and then hide that message inside a audio file. There's really a lot of ways to hide data using steganography. This is just one example. The reason we would use steganography as opposed to cryptography is with steganography, we don't give any indication that we have hidden data. It's hidden in plain sight. Whereas with cryptography, the data is encrypted, so someone would know that there's some secret message there. Steganography is supposed to be hidden in plain sight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to our channel. Have a great one.